Warning, this video contains graphic images of scary spiders and something else that's very deadly. Well, I've come back down one week later to see how the redback spider that my son called John Cena has survived being out in the wild. Uh, quite an eventful week because we had some massive rainstorms and hailstorms in Sydney. And this area here would have been hit. I noticed that the bush track has been very much affected by water. And I'm just going down to the spot, which is down in the valley a bit, where the rusty old car wreck is. And I'm actually uh, quite curious myself whether I can find that quite remarkable redback spider, which I learned a lot about actually. Just the amount of things that that thing killed, I think was an eye opener to everyone. Probably looks very suspicious, someone walking down the bush track with one rubber glove on. I'll just say I'm a Michael Jackson fan. Yes, it's uh, nice and cool now, or cooler. Uh, the hot weather we had in the summer of 2016 slash 17 in Australia uh, was one of the worst I've ever had. Uh, just chronically hot. You can see on the ground there, on that sandy ground, how the rain has affected that and there's no footprints, so not many people come down here. And this time around I'm traveling very light. I've just got my iPhone as the camera. Last week I had one of my nicer cameras, but I think it got caught up with all the humidity. It didn't make uh, that nice of a video. And that's something you have to be careful. Video cameras, uh, often they go cranky uh, with the image in humidity as the, the lens can get fogged up quite easily. Okay, this is looking quite familiar. And the car wreck is just over this side here. The camera is going to do everything automatically, I hope. Might be an epic fail on me. Uh, there it is. The same time as last week, mind you, we are lapsing into shorter days here in Australia. The Northern Hemisphere will be getting longer days if you live way past the equator. And there's the car wreck one more time. This environment here wouldn't be as uh, lavish as my backyard when it comes to things to eat. I think Mrs. Redback Spider uh, would be having a bit of a tougher time here. But we're just going to get into this piece here because I did protect her from the weather. I wonder whether she's under there. Yes, it's one of those locations. The more I look here, this place is riddled with redback activity. I'm sure she would have settled right home here with all the other spiders. Well, okay, I'll tell you a couple of things here. I can see web down here. I hope you can see that through the iPhone there. So if I lift this up, we may see her again. I'll be very careful here. I don't want to disturb her too much. That is if she's here. Oh, there's a wasp here. Oh my goodness, hang on. There is a giant wasp. Whoa. See that wasp? Wow. I don't know if you saw that. Just uh, go back in again. I wonder what that wasp was up to. Just go back down there and look for Mrs. Spider again. I just had a quick look back on the video. I think that was a spider wasp. Uh, they're not aggressive. I've only seen them a couple of times before when they've captured uh, huntsman spiders. But you know what? I think it's a spider wasp because I know there's spiders just down there. That was exciting. Uh, I've just got to pick up to where I was before. This is the piece that I put as a bit of weather protection. The stick, uh, Mr. Spider stick with the blue tack is still there. If I carefully turn this over, what are we going to find? Oh, that's weird. All the things that were there before. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, she's moved on by the looks of it. Uh, that's her stick there. And it looks like other things have come in and eaten the spider and the prey. Mantis is all gone. There's nothing left. And that wasp is back. It is right in the middle of the screen. I'm just being very, very quiet. This is amazing. See it there? I'm just moving in very slow. I've come across these wasps before. And I know they don't go for you. But that thing, I'm pretty sure that's the thing that goes for spiders. Quite amazing. I'll try and zoom in on it. Oh yeah, Mrs. Redback Spider. If it came up against that wasp there, it wouldn't stand a chance. That is a remarkable thing to look at. Absolutely stunning to look at. And the way it's hunting around and flying around, it knows exactly what it wants for dinner. Just remarkable. Uh, really not something you see all the time. I love looking at this. That is a real bonus seeing the wasp here. Uh, the time of day we're about, in fact I can see another one getting about here. Wow, really paints a picture of uh, what goes on when you're out in the real wild, hey? 
Those spider wasps, I don't really see them at my house. I wish I did. I'm sure they would clean up a lot of the redback spiders. Um, but oh my goodness me! Oh, hang on a second. Whoa! Okay, that wasp. Oh, this is the third time I've seen it. it's actually captured a huntsman spider. The huntsman spider is underneath there. I've just got the camera rolling. I know I can get right up close to these wasps. It'll come out. There it is there. Oh, that is amazing. It's going up the back there with it. Uh, totally amazing. So underneath here will be like the little wasp lair. I'm just I'm very curious now to see what's going on. I'll probably be bitten by a spider or a snake. Uh, that is the classic spider those wasps go for, and I have identified it correctly. Let me just move this. Oh, it's a bit worse than what I'm going to find here. Its lair it might be underneath here somewhere. I've just found Mrs. Redback's egg sacs there. Look at that. She strung them up on the metal there. But I'm really curious about the spider wasp. I'm so curious to see this. Where did it go? Oh, that spider wasp's lair might be under the rock here or something. Oh, one part of me is really curious to know where it went. And another part of me just wants to let it do her evil work. I'm just noticing here there's a lot of dirt there and I move that. There's like a hole that goes down there somewhere. Who knows what's going on down there? I don't know where that spider wasp got to exactly. Very mysterious sort of critter. They have like little underground lairs where they do very evil stuff to uh, huntsman spiders. Uh, something you just do not see every day. Uh, strange sort of time of year to see that. I didn't know they did it on this end of summer. Uh, the redback spider egg sacs are there. But you know what? I can't see any sign of, uh, of John Cena, Mrs. Redback Spider. You know, one part of me is very curious to find that redback spider, but then again, it may be best just to let things uh, let things be. If that wasp has been around, well, I don't think there's much luck for her. Well, I'll tell you what, I am actually really happy that I came back down here, really excited. Whenever I see a spider wasp in action, man, I get excited. I'm going to put that piece of metal back there, and hopefully, uh, well, if Mr. Spider has been taken, it's very sad and the egg sacs will just become food for the wonderful wildlife that presents around here. So I've stood here for about five minutes just quietly watching what goes on and the spider wasp uh, flies up and around and I think there's a number of them working in this area. If that is the case, uh, if there's any spiders around really, they don't stand a chance. Mind you, I don't know whether that big spider wasp uh, focuses on redback spiders, it's something I don't know. I certainly know they get huntsman spiders, I've seen it uh, before, this is the third time I've seen it and it is quite remarkable to watch though, there's a very distinctive sound of that wasp, now I've heard it clearly in silence here, it's got a bit of a buzz uh, to the wings as it flies, very distinctive sound. Well in a case of uh, very much deja vu, I'm saying goodbye to this area again, it's quite amazing isn't it, didn't see John Cena but I saw something which was totally remarkable. It's always totally awesome seeing a spider wasp in action. Uh, not a common sight, is what I'd say. I've been extremely lucky to see that this afternoon here. And only for my own curiosity and my son's curiosity about that redback spider after all the storms, I came back here. And I'm sure many of the audience would be curious about what happened to that redback spider. I'll be honest here. If that spider wasp was around, I, I don't give it much chance. Uh, no matter how good uh, that redback spider is at killing things, when you're up against a wasp, a real wasp, and not a beetle that's imitating a wasp, uh, you're going to be in dire straits. Wow, that was fantastic. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm really glad I came back here and took another look. Well, I better sign off from this video. Mind you, I don't say thanks for watching or bye for now. And my son doesn't like the other new sign off that I've got because he says, oh, dad, you know, you're telling all the kids to get off their iPads. So maybe I've got to get my audience to invent a sign off for me. Without a sign off, there's nothing. 
Oh. Oh. I just uh, went for six because I'm on this really, really uneven surface. And uh, that, oh. that was a real fall. Uh, I tripped here when I was here the first week. Uh, coming back, uh, but we'll take a look one last look at something I've just seen here on the way out There is a gigantic uh, golden orb spider uh, Up here, and it's the time of year for these when I'm shooting this video. It's uh, uh, Mid-February, uh, but it won't be uploaded then it'll be uploaded way later in the year. I'm, I'm well behind the spider videos Let's take a look at this giant spider Okay, uh, that is one of the biggest ones that I've ever seen the web on this thing is ginormous and look at all of the food and things that that spider's caught I just touched the web and the thing just freaked out. See if I could do it again. There it goes. Look at it go. That thing's as big as a bird. It's enormous. And these spiders have this incredibly strong web. You can see it there. Multiple layers of it on the Michael Jackson gloves. Just remarkable. Ooh, yeah. And there's a closer look at the area where it was. There's, a, there's smaller spiders in there. A great big string of things that it's caught. And there's some more little spiders over to the side somewhere hopefully I've got them in frame somewhere well, that spider has come back down and I'm not joking that is as big as a small bird I have never ever seen one uh, that size before I really don't know if I want to come back and have a closer look at that that thing looks as mean as you're gonna get when it comes to spiders that thing is freaking scary I've never seen uh, a golden orb spider that big that has to be a mutant from another planet I'm leaving that giant uh, golden orb spider I got a bit of a sore knee after my fall uh, but boy uh, did we have fun uh, taking a look down in the bush it is amazing what you see I did notice on last week's video, lots of people were asking questions and trying to identify that wrecked car. One part of me was thinking maybe I should go back down there like as a one year anniversary to see what happened with John Cena's babies. But I can tell you this right now, that is never going to happen. My incentive for making anything for this site has turned into a big fat zero and I'm starting to get my normal toy reviews now being flagged and failing the manual review process. This is totally out of control. I completely fail to understand what YouTube wants to be put up online now. I do not understand.